The Art of War. Now, I've got the whole match card here. I can't show it to you because uh, I just spent a bunch of time setting it all up. But uh, the uh, undercard here in the first match that we'll be watching is uh, Chris Hero versus RJ City versus Warhorse versus Mance Warner versus Joey Janela versus Alley Cat versus Orange Cassidy versus Danhausen in an indie scramble match. Uh, after that, in a barbed wire death match, we have Chris Dickinson and Chris Statlander. Then, a classic matchup, uh, Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn. Great tag team matchup after that, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson versus Mark and Jay Briscoe. Uh, after that, we have a landmine death match between Aja Kong and Yumiko Hada. After that, a tag team match between Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly and uh, the Road Warriors. Samoa Joe and CM Punk take on each other in a 2 out of 3 falls match after that, followed by a submission match between Brett and Owen Hart. Uh, the semi-main event, co-main event, whatever you want to call it, is a fatal four-way elimination match between Mitsuharu Masawa, Kenta Kobashi, Akira Tawe, and Toshiaki Kawada. And our main event tonight is a cage match between Ric Flair and Kazuchika Okada. So uh, hopefully you'll stick around for some of that bullshit because... Uh, most other wrestling's canceled. Uh, Vince McMahon's Iron Will powers on towards WrestleMania, despite Roman Reigns pulling out today. Just to keep this topical. Um, uh, here we are. Our first matchup of the night is our uh, eight-man battle royal, I guess the game would call it. I drew, that drove me insane because I didn't know I could do like multi-man matches like that because it said Battle Royal, and I I just didn't think to go there. So I spent the whole first part of this game only doing one-on-one -on -one matches in 2v2 and, you know, 3v3 and 4v4. But here we are. Eight-man match here. Oh, that's the ring I picked. Interesting. All right. Uh, there's a lot of action going on here early on. A lot of tie-ups. A lot of body slams. Body slam out of the ring there. Oh, uh, Jawbreaker it looked like from Mancer. Oh, roll up, but... Orange Cassidy gets out. Now it's just a fucking mess right there, right in the middle. Hip toss and uh, taunt from Orange Cassidy. Man, Warner's not having any of that. Alley Cat just gets in the way. Oh, low blow from Mance Warner to the war horse. Jake Parnell. Oh, Orange Cassidy takes down RJ City. That's a match I'd like to see, honestly. Uh, I like this undercard here. I'm really excited for it. Um, oh, into the ropes with Danhausen. Because after this we have Chris Dickinson and Chris Statlander, which, uh, that was kind of the first intergender match that I watched, and it, it blew my mind, and it was just awesome. And uh, I want to see how it looks in a video game in a deathmatch. So, uh, that's why that's up next. And then, uh, you know, more names for you guys after that. Uh... Really excited for that main event. Ric Flair and Okada. I think that'll be a fun one. Especially in the cage. Um, still kind of debating whether or not that should be uh, submissions only. Or if it should uh, include pinfalls. Just because... Uh, or maybe it should be pinfall only. Then you can't tap out or nothing. You just have to get beat. That might be good. We'll keep that in mind. Options are open. There's a lot of fucking matches on this show. We might boost the time at one point, but right now we're sitting at 150, so... Huh, it's good. I think it's fine. Oh, reversal. RJ City to Chris Hero. Sleeper hold there. Someone's bleeding. I think it's Mance Warner. Yeah, yeah. That's Mass. German suplex. Big forearm by Warhorse. Dragon, uh, Dragon sleeper up there. Apparently a near fall somewhere. I'm not paying enough attention. There's too much going on. I didn't anticipate this many people. Oh. it's a lot of people. It's throwing me off my game. I promise I'll be better in the, in the second half. Not the second half, but after this. Because there's just too many people. I'm too fucked up to follow eight people. I'll be able to follow one or two. I can even follow four. Oh, it's just eight. God damn. They're all doing shit. There's whole matches happening. During this fucking match, you know, you can have, you could literally have four separate one-on-one -on -one matches going on this entire time. You could have a couple two-on-two -two matches, you could have a couple two-on-one -on matches. You could have some three-way ma three matches, a oh, fucking near fall by Master, or 
Manzer kicks out. Near fall by Chris Hero. Oh, teamwork between Chris Hero and Warhorse. The veteran and the new guy. Good shit. Another near fall. Nobody's fucking yeah. leaving yet. God damn it. Great DDT, but... Uh, oh, Joey Janela doesn't give a shit. Oh, package pile driver to Mass Warner from Joey Janela. And a huge DDT from Danhausen. Somebody just fucking pinned Manser. Oh, but he gets up. Oh, and they're beating the shit out of fucking Danhausen. That hurts more than a fucking bad bottle of tequila. Yeah, two knees to the face. One bad bottle of tequila? Maybe two is worse. If you if you add another bottle of tequila, I'll admit that probably it equals more damage to you than two knees does. But super kick from Orange Cassidy. Oh, another near fucking fall. Joey Janela kicking out there. Oh, shit. And nobody's gonna pin Warhorse. He's still out on his feet now. And now he's just chopping up Danhausen. Chop, chop, chopping that meat. Dan Housen and Alley Cat really getting into it now. And Alley Cat gets up. She will not take that shit. Mass Warner just throws her into 50 people. Big elbows to Warhorse from Mancer. Roll up from Alley Cat. Oh, but a kick out near fall. That was actually good. Great suplex here from RJ City. Near fall. Warhorse kicks out. Elbow. Just tossing them into people. That's a great strategy. Just throw them into other people. That's that's two for one, baby. Another near fall. This whole fall was happening that whole time. Joey Janela gets out at one. Package pile driver to Dan Hosen. Vance Warner back in the ring. Oh, Christ. A suplex from Chris Hero. Big knee from Dan Hosen. A snap suplex. He's cleaning house, but he gets thrown into the corner by Orange Cassidy. Into the corner with Warhorse. Oh. Headbutts to Joey Janela. Oh, I rate. I think that was RJ City to Chris Hero. Now they're both on the ground. Warhorse just chopping down Danhausen. And. Warhorse throws Alley Cat into the ropes and forgets about her. Oh, sliding bridge, but no, or it does not. That's a backslide. I'm stupid. Low blow from Joey Janela. Off the ropes. Off that guy. RJ City. Elbow. Nope. Tandem offense from Joey Janela and Chris Hero. The veteran helping the young guys, but now he's gonna beat the shit out of them. But nope. Oh, great move from Joey Janela. And Mass Warner is going to headbutt the shit out of him. He's out. RJ City's out. No, he's not. Holy fuck. What? Why? I thought that's what the ref said. Whatever. I'm not the video game. Maybe he's allowed to stay. Fuck if I know. I don't think I made an endless one. How bomb. European uppercuts from Dan Housen to Joey Janela. Dan Housen on the move, but Warhorse cuts him off. Another package pile driver from Joey Janela. Nance Warner has taken a lot of damage to his brain. And three count. Alley Cat's out. Chris Hero takes her out. Chris Hero gets the win. All right. Next, the fuck up. We got Chris Dickinson and Chris Statlander, buddy. That was a 100% match. Did you know that? It was pretty good. It was a lot of fun to watch. I couldn't keep track of it. Couldn't talk about it. But uh, it was fun to watch. I like that. Really rooting for this next one to be good. It's a uh, barbed wire? Hell yeah, it is. Barbed wire death match. Chris Dickinson. Chris Statlander. Officiated by Tim White. 
Tiger Hattori was the referee in the last match. Alright. Good suplex early on from Statlander. Elbow. Really taking control here. But Dickinson overpowers her. Good kick from Statlander. Chop misses. Good forearm. Just good offense here from Chris Statlander early on, keeping her distance and, uh, and and trying to inflict some damage, but those are big knees from Chris Dickinson. Big punch to the top of the head. Beautiful Boston Crab. Statlander takes over again. Big suplex. No count. Kicks. Big combination there from Chris Dickinson. Big suplex. Only a one count though. Suplex. Punch to the top of the head again. Boston Crab. Big suplex. Kick out, no count. Snapmare. Kendo stick in play now. Good snapmare again from Statlander. A switch and a switch and a switch and a kick. Great lariat to the back of the head of Statlander. Really working that head. And the bombs go off. I forgot about the fucking bombs. Huge electric chair whatever the fuck bomb. Great spinning lariat. Into the barbed wire with Statlander though. And a huge power bomb from Statlander. Stealing Dickinson's signature move, but an enziguri from Dickinson. But Statlander's up first. Back into the barbed wire again though. Elbow to the back of the head of Dickinson. A switch, a switch, and a switch, and an electric chair, whatever the fuck again. Big suplex bomb. Into the barbed wire with Dickinson now. Holy shit, a burning hammer from Dickinson. And that's it. The burning hammer. I respect it. I wouldn't kick out of a burning hammer. Would you? Hell no. That's the burning hammer, motherfucker. That is... To me, the strongest move in all professional wrestling. That was a... I was really happy with that match. I'm happy it, I, uh, I booked that. I'm also going to apologize in advance. Most of the rest of the show is not going to go this smoothly. Up next here, we do have Rob Van Dam and Jerry Lynn. Very excited about this. This is one of my all-time favorite matches. Uh, this will be refereed by senior official Joe Higuchi. Lock up. Into the corner with Jerry Lynn. Takedown by Jerry Lynn. Suplex by Van Dam, but it's reversed. Van Dam overpowers him. Elbow. Good offense here. Continued offense takes Lynn down again, but a snapmare from Jerry Lynn. Body slam from Van Dam takes the control again. Snapmare. Trading kicks. Forearm to Lynn, but an elbow to the back of the head, and a Boston Crab, but he gets out. Drop kick. Dragon screw leg whip. Two kicks miss. Forearm from Van Dam. Suplex to the outside. Rob Van Dam taunting. That's good shit. That's exactly what he would have done. 
chop from Jerry Lynn. Another chop. What a backbreaker from Rob Van Dam. Only a one count. Body slam from Van Dam. And a moonsault. Kick out at one, though. Missed with the kick. That kick didn't miss, and it's like a pedigree. Oh, great kick to the back of the head by Rob Van Dam. DDT, though, by Jerry Lynn. Elbow drop. Rob Van Dam takes over again. Gives him a couple stomps. Rob Van Dam with the spinning heel kick. Only a one count again, though. Really early on still. It's only six minutes in here. Leg drop to the back of the head of Van Dam. Great Northern Light suplex. Two count there. First two count of the match. Outside again with Jerry Lynn. Rob Van Dam flies out with a great... I'm not even going to guess. But a single leg Boston Crab from Jerry Lynn takes the control again, but into the apron. Great. Uh, rolling senton? Yeah. Kind of. Oh, fucked fine, man. I'm just kind of guessing with some... I don't know all the wrestling moves. I'm not a qualified announcer. I apologize. Great snapmare, though. Great takeover again, but Rob Van Dam's up first, and the chairs are legal. No count outs either. They can fight out here as long as they want. It's pro wrestling, baby, but no count outs outside. Oh, another great takeover there from Jerry Lynn and up to the top and great elbow drop. Ooh, yeah. Sounds like a bop to me. Two count. Into the corner now with Van Dam. Backbreaker again. Rob Van Dam takes the time to taunt and he, he misses with the five star frog splash. He gets nothing but Matt. Great elbow drop again from Jerry Lynn. Forearm from Rob Van Dam and another one. Body slam. Great five-star frog splash. He doesn't miss this time. Brings him to the center of the ring. One, two. Near fall. Jerry Lynn gets out at the very last moment. And a great super kick. One, two. And Rob Van Dam gets out. He doesn't need the near fall, though. Pedigree. And a great submission here from Jerry Lynn. Rob Van Dam gets out. Missed with the super kick. Great rolling senton. Up to the top rope. Five star frog splash again. He got the near fall last time. One, two. Another near fall. And the burning fucking hammer! And he doesn't pin him? Are you fucking stupid? That's the most powerful move in all of pro wrestling and he didn't fucking pin him? Elbow drop. And a fucking another one. He drags him to the ring, the center of the ring, he picks him up again and he misses. Rob Van Dam dancing, Rob Van Dam's ready, Rob Van Dam knows, five star fucking frog splash. He doesn't have to drag him this time, <sighs> but he kicks out at two. Backslide, but the ropes, body slam from Rob Van Dam and another five star frog splash. That's gotta be about 20 fucking stars here, nearing 25. But another kick out by Jerry Lynn. Wow, wow, wow. Rob Van Dam is still cocky in this match. Another five star frog splash by Jerry Lynn's up. And he hits him with that slam, man. And a low blow from Rob Van Dam. Five star frog splash and Jerry Lynn's up again. Nope, in the ropes. Big body slam. Huge, huge, even better than the fucking pedigree. Three count, Rob Van Dam wins. That was quality shit, that was a lot of fun to watch. 17 minutes, one second, Rob Van Dam goes over. The FFF. Uh, fucking far fall? I can dig that. I don't think that that's what it is at all, but that's my guess. Alright, you're going to have to see some of this bullshit, and you're going to have to see how my dumbass organized it, so don't even look at it for too long, because where I put some people might offend you.
because it's all my opinion. That's the ones. Obviously. And I'm also sorry that I have to do this because, like, feels like a goddamn waste of time. And uh, it feels like it, it clutters up the stream, but it has to happen because I think we're going to have some good wrestling here, you know? Fuck, I know, honestly. Like, it might actually suck, but I'm having fun so far, and I hope you are too if you're watching. Uh, hot wrestling if you're watching. Um, we're going to change from uh, senior official Joe Higuchi. Uh, we're going to switch in to Earl Hebner, just, just because. Um, never hurts. Switch to Earl Hebner. It might actually switch to. It might hurt. It has hurt. Highly unfortunate. Hi. All right. Oh Christ! I just realized I've. No fucking idea. Okay, so that's gotta be Nick. So that's Matt, Jay, and Mark's on the apron. If I'm wrong, um, God help me. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Jay Briscoe. Oh, Nick Jackson tagged in. I, I swear to God, that's right. Suplex outside to, to Jay Briscoe. Mark Briscoe's still hanging out on the apron. Into the corner. Oh, a couple misses here from Mark Briscoe. Don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of taking bumps. Power slam, though, to Nick Jackson. Low blow. Drop kick. Body slam again. Nick Jackson kicks out at zero. Really taking over Jay Briscoe back in. All members in. Big pop, big fucking power bomb. That's the words I'm looking for. I apologize. I might stumble over my words a couple more times. It's just bound to happen. I'm new to this and, uh, excuse me, not a confident announcer. So, let's continue on here with the Young Bucks versus the Briscoes. Body slam now from Matt Jackson. Oh, trading, trading attacks because those aren't necessarily punches. Trading strikes. That's the that's the term. Uh, but uh, it was won by Matt Jackson. All the members back in the ring again. Another big uh, team power bomb. I think a missed cutter there. Uh, that's what he was going for. Missed with the frog splash as well. Mark Briscoe back in DDT to Nick Jackson. DDT again and Nick Jackson. But Nick Jackson gets up before Mark Briscoe can get to him. Great kick to the back of the head of Mark Briscoe from Matt Jackson. Tag out. And Matt Jackson really holding his own there, but he takes a DDT. Jay Briscoe goes for the pin. One count. Dangerous to stay in that corner, but Matt Jackson gets out of it. Running drop kick. Great dragon screw leg whip from Matt Jackson. Mark Briscoe tagged in. Dragon screw leg whip. <laughs> Dragon screw leg whip from Jay Briscoe. Elbow from Matt Jackson. Tag to Nick Jackson. Matt Jackson really holding his own with both. Ah, oh, messed it up for the first time. Mark Briscoe really holding his own in there with the with the fucking with the bucks, with them bucks. I'll be right back. I'm gonna make some repairs. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Blazing David Hayes, this is Clusterfuck Pro, and you are the shit heels. We got the Young Bucks versus the Briscoes here. Holy fuck, it's total elimination! Followed by a fucking moonsault. That was crazy shit. Mark Briscoe tagged back in. Matt Jackson gives him an elbow, and then a single leg Boston Crab. Missed with the cutter again. Low blow from Mark Briscoe.
running drop kick from Nick Jackson. Great swinging neck breaker from Nick Jackson. Matt tags in. Elbow. Sent on from Nick. Stomp from Matt. Great suplex though from Jay. Dragon screw leg whip. Moonsault. Kick out. In the corner. Running an elbow, I believe, from Jay Briscoe. Followed by a suplex and falling elbow. Nick Jackson breaks it up. Draw kick. Draw kick. Both the Briscoes are in, so are both the Bucks. Much to the gut. Matt Jackson just holds him while Nick Jackson gets up. And he knocks him off the apron there, but it takes him it saves enough time there that Nick Jackson is able to get the offense right off the bat. Kick out though. DDT from Jay Briscoe. Reversal from Nick Jackson. What Mark Briscoe had planned there could have been fucking devastating. But a running drop kick from Nick Jackson keeps him in control and a super kick. First one of the match. Great fucking 450 splash, but a near fall. Lots of chops. Mark Briscoe and Jay Briscoe dragging him around the ring. Tags out to Jay. And bolt the Bucks back in. Mark Briscoe goes to do something off the top but decides against it. Jay Briscoe does. Huge scent on to Matt Jackson. Brings him to the center of the ring. Not quite. Kind of like the corner. Oh, great. Uh, Kata Hajime. Oh, single leg Boston crowd to Jay Briscoe. Great snap suplex. Exchange of blows here. Matt Jackson takes over with the super kick. Off the ropes with Matt Jackson. Everyone's in the ring again except for Mark Briscoe. Great super kick from Nick Jackson again. A chair now with Mark Briscoe. Swinging the chair around. Great uh, swinging kick there. Missed. Punch to the gut. Mark Briscoe taunting, but he's got his chair again. He's going to beat the shit out of Nick Jackson with it. And he's got time to taunt. Throws him off the ropes. Great forearm there. Swinging the chair again. Just knocking the fucking brain cells out of him. Great suplex. Another exchange of blows between Mark Briscoe and Nick Jackson. And Nick Jackson wins with the super kick, but no. Mark Briscoe gets up. He hits him with the enziguri, and he tags in Jay Briscoe. Matt, Br Matt Jackson's back in. Here we go. We got all four men back in the ring. Another big senton from Jay Briscoe. And Mark Briscoe headbutts Matt Jackson. Huge senton again to Matt Jackson. Big flurry of kicks there from Matt Jackson. Off the ropes. Atomic drop. More blows here. <laughs> DDT here from Jay Briscoe. Off the ropes. Big power bomb. Chair in play. Swings it and he hits. That's a home run, baby. Sent on. Oh, shit. A miss with the cutter, landing on his fucking teammate. Big spinning power bomb, and he kicks out. Nick Jackson. Or I guess he wasn't the legal man, yeah. Nick Jackson in now, and he's got him in the roll-up. Matt Jackson protects him, but he still kicks out. Mark Briscoe getting the shit kicked out of him now. He goes to tag in Jay. Big duo power bomb. And another big power bomb to Nick Jackson. And another big senton to Nick Jackson. He brings him. He brings him out of the ropes. But Nick Jackson takes over again and he stands up first. He's gonna go tag out Matt Jackson in. Both bucks in. Big suplex out of the ring to Jay Briscoe. Mark Briscoe follows Matt. But Matt hits a big acai moonsault. Ah, I bet you didn't expect me to know that one, man. Kicks! 
Matt Jackson holding his own against the Briscoes. But another big spinning power bomb to Matt Jackson. Lots of chairs. Just a, <laughs> a fuck ton of chairs. Team taunts. More chairs. He hit his own teammate with the fucking chair. Jay Briscoe in the ring with the chair. He's hitting him with the chair. Jay Briscoe's ready. He hits him with the lariat. He tags in Mark Briscoe. Tags into Nick. Super kick from Matt Jackson. Low blow from Mark Briscoe. Bunch of kicks here from Nick, though. Big power bomb. Big 450 splash from Nick Jackson, but Mark Briscoe's in the ropes. Bunch of kicks here from Nick Jackson. Mark Briscoe and Nick Jackson trading bows again. And another super kick. This time, Mark Briscoe doesn't get up. But a burning fucking hammer! He gets the fucking win! That's what I'd like to see. Jesus H. <laughs> Good shit. I had it right, thank Christ. <laughs> I had no fucking idea, honest to God. So goddamn worried. But here we are. Back onto the next match. Christ, that was a half hour, man. That was that was quality wrestling. That was a good match. But next up, in a landmine death match, we have, uh, unfortunately, um, what is the only straight-up women's match on the card, which uh, I'm going to change as we go on here because there is a lot of great women's wrestlers, and I'm a huge fan of intergender wrestling. And on this game, I can make anyone fight. And while the coronavirus is going on, and while a bunch of wrestling is canceled, oh, fuck it, man. Tune in. I got a lot of shit. Uh, I don't have a lot of shit going on. I have a lot of shit that I can do like this. And if you can dig it, if you're going to watch it, let me know. I, uh, I have a lot of fun doing this. It's uh, just a dumb hobby to watch these matches. And if I can watch them with other people, and I can entertain other people, and I can bullshit with them, whatever. I think it'll be a lot of fun, so... Watch this match. Let me know. Do you want to see more of this shit? Because I think you do. I think you should. This is Clusterfuck Pro. And we are presenting The Art of War. This is a landmine death match between Aja Kong and Yumiko Hara. Great knee from Hara. Good even offense here early on. Good suplex there. Trade of blows. No one can really gain an upper hand there. Takedown from Aja Kong. Kick to the back. Aja Kong backs up into the barbed wire because she's less scared of the barbed wire than she is of Yumiko Hada. Knees to the face of Aja Kong. I mean, Christ, I, I would rather stand in barbed wire than get kicked in the face by Yumiko Hara, too. Another big suplex there. Drags Aja Kong to the middle of the ring. Yumiko Hara gets the upper hand early on here. But an elbow from Aja Kong. And a great stretch. Stretch Boston Crab is kind of what that is. Yeah, stretch single leg Boston Crab. I can dig that. Uh, great back body drop there. Kendo stick in play, but no longer. Yumiko Hara hits her with a flurry of blows. Another kick to the back there. Or Actually, that's her returning the favor. Big back body drop there from Yumiko Hara.
Yumi Fuhara really uh, maintaining control for the most part here early on, but a zero count from uh, from Aja Kong. She gets out and into the bombs first with Yumi Fuhara. That could change everything. The bombs can change everything. There's uh, there's no doubt in that. But Yumi Fuhara continues her momentum here with a good lariat, but a couple blows from Aja Kong to the head there. A couple good forearms and an elbow to the back. Aja Kong now wielding a chair. Aja Kong has uh, definitely taken more control than Jesus Christ with the fucking brain buster. And that big lariat to the back of the head, a rolling lariat there. Tiger Bomb. Two count. Knees to the face of Aja Kong. Elbow. Lariat. Aja Kong with the fucking chair. Miku Hara with the knee. Off the ropes. And a huge, uh, oh, like a spinning fuck drop. Fuck the final. Power bomb from Aja Kong, I know that one. <laughs> Elbow. Lariat. Miku Hara stopping to breathe there. Oh, but another huge brain buster from Aja Kong, and now a sledgehammer. That's fucked up. Knees to the face of Aja Kong again, though. Into the fucking bombs now with Aja Kong. Kick to the head. Yumiko Hara taking over again now. But Aja Kong keeping distance. Yumiko Hata taking over, but <sighs> Shikong comes back with that headbutt. And the barbed wire bat in play, but not for long. Big tiger bomb again, but in the ropes. Forearms to the head. Big suplex there. Spinning back fist. One, two, three. That's it. Shikong wins. So, we are into our last five matches here which are going to be Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly versus the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal, Samoa Joe and CM Punk in a 2 out of 3 falls match, Bret Hart and Owen Hart in a submission match, Mitsuharu Misawa, Kenta Kobashi, Akira Taue, and Toshiaki Kawada in a fatal 4-way elimination match, and our main event, Kazucho Okada and Ric Flair in a cage match, uh, which will likely determine um, who... Whoever wins the match between Kazuchika Okada and Ric Flair will go on to face whoever wins um, the fatal four-way match in the co-main event at the next event for the Clusterfuck Championship. I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be right back. You take great care. Uh, we'll go on to those next five matches here right away.
and welcome back, shit heels. I'm Blazing David Hayes, and you're watching Clusterfuck Pro's Art of War. We just had Aja Kong versus Yumiko Hata. Uh, Aja Kong won that match. Before that, we had a tag team match between the Young Bucks and the Briscoes. Mark and Jay Briscoe won. Uh, before that, a good old grudge match between Rob Van Dam and Jerry Lynn, in which Rob Van Dam was victorious. Chris Dickinson went over Chris Statlander. And as far as I can remember, Chris Hero went over in that scramble match. I just forgot to write it down beforehand, but that's uh, that's what I felt most confident writing down. I believe he went over Alley Cat, if I remember correctly. But next up here, as I said before, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly up against the Road Warriors Hawk and Animal. Which uh, I should have been setting up this whole time. I've been talking, just blabbering about. Don't forget, we also got Samoa Joe and CM Punk in a 2 out of 3 falls match. That's going to be fucking fun. I'm excited about that one. Uh, and then we got Bret Hart and Owen Hart in a submission match, which, uh, oh man, I mean, how could that not be good? Oh, no, I put them in. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to find things to say right now. Just you hold on. Oh, shit, yeah. That's some color combinations. My favorite tag team of all time is, uh, the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. So, uh, take from that what you will. Oh, I thought they were supposed to be here. They're not. They're in WCW, then. Hell yeah. Oh, I, I should have gone through those. Give me two seconds. I'm so sorry. I'm a goddamn child. I like it when they wear the cool stuff. Alright. Uh, we're also going to change uh, the official here. We're going to change it back to Senior Official Joe Higuchi. Just in case I hadn't wasted enough of your time. Uh, here we go. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly versus uh, Hawk and Animal. Uh, I guess that that means that uh, whoever wins this match is going to go on to face the Briscoes in uh, in the uh, Clusterfuck Tag Match. Or Tag Title Match in uh, the next show. Whenever that is. Whenever I feel inclined to do it. Because uh, I don't live on a schedule anymore. Great forearms here. Good, uh, just good offense here early on between the two. Now we got both the Road Warriors in the ring here. He overpowers Bobby Fish. Pulls into the middle of the ring. Kyle O'Reilly tags in. Both of Red Dragon in the ring. Great arm twists there from Hawk. Great back body drop. And a body slam out of the ring to Kyle O'Reilly. Animal gets tagged in and he goes and grabs a chair. Because why the fuck wouldn't he? I'm okay with chairs no matter what. That's how Clusterfuck Pro works. Chairs no matter what. Dragon screw leg whip by Kyle O'Reilly. And uh, whatever Kyle O'Reilly was going for, that was uh, deterred by Animal. Good old gut punch. Holy fuck, it's total elimination. I feel like that should be the tag team equivalent of the Burning Hammer, but we'll get into that on another day, I'm sure. Welcome, one person. Great exchange here from Hawk and Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish ultimately wins, though. Takes Hawk down. Kick to Hawk's leg. He continues to keep control there. Red Dragon really giving it to the Road Warriors. They really want to face the Briscoes at whatever fucking show is next. Throwing fists from Hawk. And Zagiri from Bobby Fish. Tag out to Animal. Tag to Kyle O'Reilly. Great tandem powerbomb. Forearm to the back of the head and just a just a mean submission there from Animal. Great double hand choke slam. 
or double hand choked it. I mean, I did eventually slam him, so yeah. Suplex out of the ring there for Animal. Or two Animal. And an Enziguri from Bobby Fish. Not looking good out there. No count outs, no disqualifications, of course. Another Enziguri from Bobby Fish, and Hawk has seen enough. He's gonna go and kick the shit out of Kyle O'Reilly. Body slam. Too much shit going on here. Boston Crab there from Animal. Suplex from Kyle O'Reilly. Hawk now the legal man. Bobby Fish now the legal man. And all men now fighting again. Now in the ring, at least the, all four of them. Kyle O'Reilly gets out, but he breaks up that pin. And he puts him in a heel hold. Hawk gets out. Kicks him in the leg. Body slam. Really working Hawk's leg there. Trying to uh, probably weaken him to get the the tap out. But I don't know if Hawk would tap out. Hawk's strong as fuck. You know that. He just punched Bobby Fish in the back of the head, put him to sleep. Another tandem power bomb from the Road Warriors. Off the ropes. Great forearm there. And Zagiri, tag out to Kyle O'Reilly. Tag out to Hawk. All four men in the ring again. Another tandem power bomb, but a neck breaker as well this time. Suplex out of the ring to Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish comes in to take on Hawk. Animal and Kyle O'Reilly duke it out outside. Bobby Fish thrown out by Hawk. Lock up. Big power slam there from Hawk. Animal's got a chair now. He's beating the shit out of Kyle O'Reilly with it. Great Northern Lights suplex there from Bobby Fish. Kicks to Hawk's leg. Beautiful fucking brain buster from Kyle O'Reilly over there. The two legal men, Kylo. I, I actually don't know if that's true. A neck breaker there from Hawk. Hawk's the legal man. So is Kyle O'Reilly. Tags out to Animal. He tags out to Bobby Fish. All four men back in the ring. All four men beating the shit out of each other again. Animal's days outside the ring, but now he's back in. He's going to beat the shit out of somebody. Kyle O'Reilly's out of the ring now. Great Alabama slammer from Animal. And Kyle O'Reilly breaks up the pin. Leg drop to the back of the head. Into the corner. Great shining wizard from Bobby Fish to Animal. Hawk tags out. Or Hawk tags in. Bobby Fish holds his own against him, keeps them both down, lets him go tag out to Kyle O'Reilly. But two gut wrench power bombs. Gut wrench suplexes? Gut wrench suplexes. A trade of blows here between Kyle O'Reilly and Hawk. Kyle O'Reilly takes down the veteran, Hawk. Kicks to the back. Great flurry of blows there from Kyle O'Reilly. Shoulder breaker from Hawk. Drop toe hold. Ankle lock. Bobby Fish comes in to protect his partner. Ends a to animal, but Hawk gets out anyway. Great angle slam. All four men back in the ring. Hawk with another big power slam. Another great leg submission to animal. Animal gets out. It's Animal and Bobby Fish. Backbreaker. Power slam. Animal says it's over. And that power bomb in the ropes. He's too close to the ropes. Kicks to both members of Red Dragon. Big power bomb to Kyle O'Reilly, but he's not the legal man. Off the ropes. Big power slam. That's a power slam. What the fuck is that? That's a press slam. Kyle O'Reilly still weakening the legs of the, the Road Warriors. Both men really working on big ass power bomb thing. Hawk and Kyle O'Reilly in the ring, working the shoulder of Kyle O'Reilly. Off the ropes. Big spinning back fist from Kyle O'Reilly takes Hawk down, kicks to the back again. Stomach punch from Hawk, neck breaker. Bobby Fish comes in to break up that pin. Back breaker. 
Punches to Kyle O'Reilly. Draw toe hold. Kick to the face of Kyle O'Reilly, negating the leg submission. Tags on both sides. All four men in the ring again. Total elimination to Hawk. Big kick to Hawk. Anna will get a big kick. Who will go on to fight the Briscoes at whatever fucking show is next? And Red Dragon goes on to face the Briscoes at whatever fucking show is next. Wouldn't you believe it? That was some fucking crazy shit. Next up, we got Samoa Joe and CM Punk in their two out of three falls match. That was tight. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. This has been Clusterfuck Pro, Art of War. If you're just tuning in, of course. Uh, yeah, we'll grab CM Punk. He should be, yep, right there. I wish I had even older Punk. It's fucked up. Alright. Oh, no. Alright. Yeah, this will be senior official Joe Higuchi. Um, three matches. All right, CM Punk, Samoa Joe, two out of three falls. Up next, of course, Bret Hart and Owen Hart in their submission match, followed by the Fatal Four Elimination match between the four pillars of all Japan pro wrestling: Mitsuharu Misawa, Kenta Kobashi, Akira Taue, and Toshiaki Kawada. That is, of course, topped off by our main event. Kazuchika Okada, Ric Flair, in a cage match to decide who faces the winner of the Fatal Four uh, Pillars of All Japan match to find out who is the Clusterfuck Champion at our next show, whatever the fuck that may be called. Good back and forth here early on between CM Punk and Samoa Joe. I mean, generally just a sweet match anytime you can see it. Oh, great suplex out of the ring by Samoa Joe, and he's going to follow him out, and he grabs a chair on his way there. Hits Punk with it a couple times, but Punk stays standing. Punk throws a couple strikes and a body slam to Samoa Joe. Great Samoan drop. Throws Samoa Joe out of the ring. Punk follows him now. Of course, again, no disqualifications. Why the fuck would there be? Great neck breaker. Kick to the head of Samoa Joe. CM Punk went for a weapon, but I can't see if he's got it. Samoa Joe throws an elbow. Throws him into the guardrail now. Samoa Joe blocks a suplex and gives CM Punk one of his own, but now he does have a chair. He did get it. I see it now. I can see it in frame. CM Punk really trying to beat down Samoa Joe out of the ring here. Good elbow to the head. Oh my god. Oh Nelson suplex. Off the ropes. Hop over and a couple elbows, but Samoa Joe is unfazed and he power bombs him right on that chair. STF from Samoa Joe. CM Punk won't tap out. We're at 555. Great fish fireman's carry, not a fisherman's carry. Samoan drop. CM Punk up again before Samoa Joe can get to the ropes. Trading blows here. Samoa Joe gets him with the big kick, but CM Punk comes back with a kick of his own. One, two, ho, oh, Samoa Joe kicks out 656. Good double axe out to the back of CM Punk. Great Uranagi. One, two, kick out of the power slam by CM Punk is 7.49. Boston Crab. Samoa Joe won't take it. Into the corner. Big shining wizard from CM Punk. Drags him out. One, two. Near fall, Samoa Joe gets out at 8.41. Big running elbow attack. German suplex. Flurry of blows from CM Punk, though. And you're an argue of his own. 
Oh, you great. Go to sleep. CM Punk at 9. At 10 minutes. Can he do it? No, another near fall at 10.06. Bulldog from CM Punk. The two men collide. Smojo up first. And he is just bringing it to CM Punk. And Zagiri from Samoa Joe. CM Punk's not taking it. Big kick from Joe again. Knees from CM Punk. Big go to sleep again. At 11.55. No! A kick out at 12.02. But another go to sleep. Ah, oh, kick out at 12.28. Suplex out of the ring from CM Punk. He's saying, it's time to go to sleep, Samoa Joe. And an enziguri from Joe. Big German suplex. A couple of them. One, two. Oh, and a kick out from CM Punk at 13.34. Big belly to belly. On a kick out at 13.53. He's throwing his head into that turnbuckle as many times as he can. Another a big DDT there from CM Punk. Really doing his damage to the head and they're trading blows again. CM Punk feels it, but Samoa Joe is up. Another Enzigiri. Off the ropes. Big takedown from Samoa Joe. Big takedown again. Suplex from Punk, though. Forearm. Takes Joe down, but an elbow from Joe. Big power bomb. STF. STF. CM Punk taps out for the first fall at 16.02. On to the second fall here. On to the second fall here now. <laughs> Samoa Joe taking the first 16.02. Another big Samoan drop here early on. And a two count. 16 seconds. Not looking good for CM Punk. GTS though. One, two, three. CM Punk takes a second fall at 39 seconds. It's an even game. Who can win? Who can take the upper hand? Fight. Big belly to belly suplex there. More like an overhead. Dragon sleeper here. Always dangerous with the submission in these matches because we've already had a, a submission fall to the STF. How much will it take to get this third fall? Will it take a little? Will it take a lot? Will it take that GTS from CM Punk? One, two, <gasps> Samoa Joe out at 120. Up to the top. Elbow drop from Punk. He's got him up. And an axe handle from Joe. He's got him in the Boston Crab. What'll Punk say? What'll Punk say? And he's out. He's out. Kicks to Samoa Joe, and he says it's time. He says it's time. Will it be time? Big back body drop. Ah, oh, that's a back suplex. Neck breaker. Punches from Joe. A big knee and a palm strike. Off the ropes. A big roundabout DDT from CM Punk. Chop takes Joe down in an elbow. Uranagi from Punk. throws a blow. They tie up and he throws him out of the ring. And Joe follows him out there. Of course he can't finish the match outside of the ring. Uranagi from Punk. GTS. Stomp. He, Joe throws Punk back in the ring. They're trading blows. They're trading blows. Punk feels it. And Punk takes him down. Punk takes him down again. Joe's on wobbly legs. 
Two count at 520. Big kick. Big suplex. Combination of strikes. Into the corner. One, two. Samoa Joe kicks out at 626. Big power bomb from Joe. STF, STF, it ended the first match, it ended the first match, but CM Punk gets out, CM Punk lives to see another day, but a body slam out of the ring, Samojo taunts him and he follows him, he wants something, CM Punk's got a chair now, he hits Joe with it, elbow from Joe, punches from Punk, elbow again, and Zagiri, punch to the stomach of Punk, Yurinagi from Joe. Body slam from Joe. Joe maintaining control here. Throws him in the ring. And the belly to belly suplex from Punk. One, two, three. At 9.14, CM Punk takes home the win. That's quality shit. Next up, a match that could be the main event if it wanted to be. Bret the Hitman Hart versus his brother, Owen the Blackheart. Not a nugget. That was the worst thing that they called him, and that was the last thing they called him before he died, and that's the most fucked up shit to me. Literally, where Bret Hart is probably the best wrestler of all time, Owen Hart is honestly not far behind in any way shape or form and where the fuck is he where did I put him there he is uh oh I mean from now on I think like we gotta throw the fair bear in here it's fair bear time um this match is gonna have a 60 minute time limit it's gonna have one match and uh Oh, win condition is give up only. All right. So an I quit match between Bret Hart and Owen Hart. Refereed by a bear. You'll love to see it. Clusterfuck Pro, Art of War. Make sure to tune in. Whatever the fuck the next show is. Owen Hart looking for an early win there, but no, no dice. Bulldog from Brett. Snapmare. Bret Hart slowly taking uh, the advantage here early on. Owen Hart takes him down, though, with a great Northern Light suplex. But another Snapmare from Bret Hart and an elbow drop. Enzigiri from Owen. Dragon screw leg whip. He won't fall for that into Gary again. Snapmare. Elbow drop from Brett. Neck breaker. Snapmare again. Bret Hart just maintaining control here. Jawbreaker from Brett. Clothesline. I'll fuck your knee right up. You have no fucking idea. You see that move? Grabs his knee where he twists it? Yeah, you have no fucking idea how much that'll ruin your knee. I twisted my knee doing laundry, man. I ruined it. Fucked me up for weeks. Figure four from Owen Hart. Fucking him up with that fucked up knee. Big old neck breaker from Bret Hart, though. Sleeper hold there. Dragon screw leg whip. That'll fuck you up too. No, oh, poking the eyes from Rowan. Body slam to Brett out of the ring. Owen taking him out of the ring, but Brett doesn't want it out there. Owen's taking a breath, but Nenzigiri. 
Throws a fist. Red Hard looks for a win, but he's in the ropes. A sharpshooter from Owen. Bret, but Bret Hart is out. Good Russian leg sweep there from Bret Hart. Owen Hart won't let Bret take any control, and Bret won't let Owen take any either. Neither man giving up an inch, but good bulldog there from Bret and back into the sleeper hold. Poking to the eyes. Back body drop from Bret. Into the corner. Owen really beating him down there. Russian leg sweep. No! Another fucking ACL fucker. Spinning heel kick missed by Owen Hart. Suplex there. Clothesline from Brett. Body slam from Owen out of the ring. Owen takes his time to take a breath though. Two men lock up and Brett throws him out and he takes his time to take a breath. Owen staggered. Poking to the eyes again. Elbow to the back and a camel clutch from Owen. Still wearing out that back. The two men stop there to evaluate each other and a back suplex is what's in order there. Oh, and almost a pinning combination but Brett's out. Oh, and a pile driver from Owen and an elbow drop. Wearing out that back even more. He's not done. Another pile driver. Into the ropes. And a huge spinning heel kick he hits at that time. An elbow drop to Brett's head. Off the ropes. A great clothesline there from Brett. Brett with a pile driver of his own. He punches Owen. And they lock up again into the corner. He hangs him up in the tree of woe and he gives him a couple good kicks to the midsection. Into the corner. And a, and a bulldog from Brett, the hitman heart. Body slam to the black heart out of the ring. Brett's taking his time. Both men taking their time. Breathing. Evaluating. An atomic drop from Brett Hart. A back suplex. Elbow. And a drop kick to the back of the head of Owen. Beautiful drop kick. And another atomic drop to Owen. Off the ropes. Huge clothesline. And a huge ACL fucker. Late in the game, this could be huge. That sharpshooter doesn't just work on your lower back, it also works on your legs. That's important to remember. The strain of having your legs on there. And it's locked in. Owen has it locked in. But Bret Hart gets out. And a pin, but there is no pins. It's it's pit, it's give up only. And knockouts. Owen Hart won't give him that inch again. He takes his time to breathe. Off the ropes. The two men collide. Up at the same time in a Russian leg sweep, Bret Hart takes control. Elbow drop to Owen. Bret Hart taking more definitive control here. Leg drop to the back of Owen's head. But a kick to Bret's face. Another pin attempt, but uh, no dice. Bulldog. A belly to belly suplex. And a pile driver again from Owen Hart. Out of the ring. Bret Hart's breathing. He's ready to go. Is Owen ready to go? Into the corner. But Owen's Owen just misses Bret Hart to the top. But he decides against it. And a fucking Russian leg sweep again. Bret Hart's got him where he wants him. An elbow. But Owen comes back. Owen's up top. And an elbow drop from Owen. Owen doesn't think twice. Into the corner with Bret. Poke to the eyes. Into the corner. Big running elbow from Owen Hart. But no pinfalls. Those moves are also uncomfortable to fall into. Like, uh, it, it absolutely does the number on your neck there. 
Um, there's something to be said about that. And Bret Hart, he locks it in, and Owen Hart can't take it. At 20:39, Bret Hart takes in the win. Wonder, wonderful, 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 wonderful matchup between Bret and Owen Hart. A lot of fun watching that. Um, oh man! Of course, uh, up next we have a a great special attraction match. I'm very excited to uh, to watch it. It's gonna be the four pillars of all Japan pro wrestling. All vying to oh well they're all vying to take on fucking whoever wins uh the next match which is uh of course Kazuchika Okada Ric Flair very exciting these will be a good last couple matchups here um oh man I'm just so excited this is uh this was definitely it was one I thought of at work and I thought about it uh, the whole rest of the day because I was just really excited to do it. And uh, oh man, I hope you I hope you enjoy watching it. I gotta fix this stuff here quick because uh, it's apparently not the right stuff. And uh, for continuity purposes, gotta keep all this shit the same. Uh, we are going to put in uh, senior official. Oh, where's senior official? Is he below Tiger Hattori? Yes, he is. Joe Gucci. Senior official Joe Higuchi will be officiating this fatal four-way elimination matchup between the four pillars of All Japan, Kenta Kobashi, Mitsuharu Misawa, Toshiaki Kawada, and Akira Tawe. Very exciting. Senior official Joe Higuchi. Oh man, this might be at 100 speed. I don't think the speed's fixed. Ooh wee. All right, so we're watching this in regular time. No, you know what? It's 30 seconds in. I don't care. I'm I'm going to do it. I'm going to fix it because that just seems so much slower after watching all the other ones at the proper speed. And also, I didn't even look at the fucking rules. So, oh, I'm making it up 7 just cuz the law. Uh No. See? Good fucking thing, eh? Yeah, no knockouts in this one. Uh, yeah. Huh, fucking A. Alright. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Mitsuharu Misawa, Kenta Kobashi, Toshiaki Kawada, Kiritawe, Four Pillars All Japan fighting in this fucking match in a fucking elimination fatal four way match. Hope you enjoy it, man. It's gonna be very exciting. Misawa and Kenta Kobashi go at it right away, and so do Tawe and uh, Toshiaki Kawada. Lots of names here, lots of vowels, lots of fucking syllables. Good one-on-one uh, -on -one matches early on here, but Akira Tawe decides he'd rather fight Masao, but Masao is not done with Kenta Kobashi, but Kenta Kobashi decides he'll take on Tawe, but Tawe wants to take on Mitsuharu Masao, wouldn't you believe it, but Kenta Kobashi gets his attention again. Masao wanted some of that shit, but Masao is ready to take on some more Kenta Kobashi. Toshiaki Kawada gets a one fall, or one count on Akira Tawe. I do that a lot, that's upsetting. Big elbow there from Kawada, kicked uh, Kenta Kobashi's leg. Great uh, Fujiwara arm breaker from Toshiaki Kawada to Kenta Kobashi. Overhead suplex from Mitsuharu Masawa. And a body slam there from Akira Tawe. And chops to the head of Kenta Kobashi. A pinfall from Masawa, but only a one count. Big suplex there to Tawe. Tandem suplex to Kawada from Masawa and Kenta Kobashi, but Masawa immediately turns on him and gives him a double senton. Good old double senton. It's always nice. And a good old strike exchange here between Masao and Kenta Kobashi, and Kobashi takes down Masao. Kenta Kobashi gets a little bit more of him, though. Kawada gives him a couple knees to the gut. One. Only one count, though. Oh, great neck breaker to Kawada. Camel clutch there from Masao to Tawe. Dragon sleeper here from Toshiaki Kawada. Great neck breaker. And regular old sleeper hold there from Kenta Kobashi. Kira Tawe doesn't even get a count on Masawa. 
Kenta Kobashi and Masawa going at it again. And Taui gets a good DDT there on Kenta Kobashi. Power slam. Kick to the leg. Dragon Sleeper from Kenta Kobashi on Taui. Good strikes from Masawa to Kawada. I don't want to mix them up. A lot of Ks. Oh, what a great brain buster to Misawa from fucking Taui. Taui and Kawada trading blows, and Taui gets the upper hand and gets a big old kick there on Misawa. Sleeper hold from Kenta Kobashi to Misawa. Over the top rope with Kobashi. Oh, Kawada bomb. Fucked up by Kenta Kobashi. Or maybe Misawa. I can't. I'm all fucked up. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Super kick from Kawada. One. Uh, kick out there from Masao. One. No two counts yet. One. No. Kick. One. Two. Two on Tawei from Kawada. Big double arm trap suplex. No two count. Oh, choke slam reversed. Big power bomb. Oh, Kenta Kobashi out at 2.9. Kicks from Misawa. More kicks from Misawa. Misawa keeping himself defended, keeping there, keeping room. And Kawada, he reverses that fucking full Nelson suplex into the corner. Kawada and Kenta Kobashi run into each other. Both take drop kicks from Akira Tawe. Reversal of the suplex by Mitsuharu Misawa. Great Northern Light suplex there, but it's broken up by Mitsuharu Misawa. Elbow from Kawada. Suplex from Tawe. Elbow from Kawada. Armbar. Pinfall, but it's not being counted. And it's only a one count. Dragon Sleeper from Kawada on Tawe. Both men stand and watch. No dice. Kawada Masao exchanging blows again. Kenta Kobashi gets the upper hand once more. Sleeper hold. Kawada stands and watches and a drop kick to Kawada from Tawe. Great roaring elbow. More elbows. Tiger Bomb, one, two, two point nine. Kawada gets up. Burning Hammer! The burning fucking hammer, but Akira Tawe fucks it up! And a huge brain buster from Kawada. One, two, oh, only a two count of 1354. Elbow to Kawada. Big kick from Masawa. Kenta Kobashi with a huge lariat there to Kawada. Double arm suplex on Tawe. Near fall. Kawada with the lariat. Two count. Kenta Kobashi returning the favor on Tawe. And giving a huge brain buster to fucking Masawa. One. Oh, but it's broken up. Akira Tawe lives to see another pinfall. Exchange of blows there, and Kawada gets the upper hand. Leg drop to Tawe. Kenta Kobashi just bringing it, beating the ever living shit out of Tawe. And Tawe returning the favor. Strikes galore. One, two, two count for Kawada. And a near fall for Tawe. And a, and a two count for Kawada. A tandem powerbomb here from Kawada and Kobashi. Huge spinning back fist. High angle powerbomb. One, two. Oh, I think Akira Tawe broke that up. And Tawe brings Kobashi over his knee. And a near fall from the Sawa on Kawada. More strikes from Akira Tawe. Brain buster to Tawe from Kawada. Oh, and Tawe breaks up the brain buster to Kenta Kobashi. Throws Misawa in the corner. Huge suplex. Elbow to the back of Tawe's head. He takes Misawa over his knee. Huge suplex to Kawada now. Kobashi can't stay focused. Misawa and Kobashi going at it. And a roaring elbow from Misawa decides the fate. But a brain buster from Ka Toshiaki Kawada. 
and he throws Kenta Kobashi into Kawada. He hits fucking, fucking Masawa's face on his knee again. We're 21 minutes in and we haven't had a fall yet. Masawa falls out of the ring. Masawa has his own kind of fall. A high angle power ball. Speak of the devil. 21-28. Akira Tawe's out. We have Kawada. We got Masawa. And we got Kobashi. Oh, Emerald Fusion! Out of the ring! Huge clothesline to Kawada. He throws Kobashi out of the ring. <gasps> Holy fuck! Dropped him on his fucking neck. 22-46 and only a near fall. Off the ropes to Kobashi and Masawa runs after him. Kobashi and Kawada, they clank heads again. And Roaring Elbow, Tiger Driver! Three! It's Masawa and it's Kawada! Big strikes here from Kawada. Into the ropes. Huge drop kick from Masawa. More strikes from Kawada. Into the ropes. Big Lariat. Another big Lariat. An even bigger Lariat, if you will. An elbow to the back. Big kick to the head. They're up at the same time, though. Kawada kicks him in the midsection, takes him down. Tiger Driver! Three! Misawa goes on to face the winner of Kazuchika Okada. Ric Flair. Steel motherfucking cage, baby. Well, this has been a great show. Uh, Clusterfuck Pro's Art of War. Uh, I can say I'm very happy with this. I'm very excited to see how uh, the next fucking show, whatever the fuck it's called, is going to turn out. Because uh, I think it's going to be a, a, a good, good time. This is our final match. Cage death match. Ric Flair. Kazuchika Okada. Let's go! Very excited. I've been excited about this since I thought about it. And I thought about it, like, very early this morning. It was, like, one of the first things I was planning. So, here we go. Officiated by the uh, wonderful Don't Care Bear. We got a drop toe hold early on here from Ric Flair. Tries to take him down, but doesn't, uh, doesn't succeed there. Off the ropes. Okada misses with his drop kick. Elbow to the back. Kick out. Oh. Good drop toe hold. Another drop toe hold. Oh, reversal of the suplex, but Okada still takes over. Really good back and forth here for the first couple minutes. It's uh, it's hard to really say anything. Like there's uh, no real connection here besides them both being uh, just incredible wrestlers who happen to have really long matches, and I wanted to see how long their match would be. And also, I've never seen this Ric Flair have a bad match, so uh, I really hope that continues. One count there for Okada. An exchange of blows here. Three minutes in, Ric Flair takes over, gives him a good old elbow drop. Oh, also, uh, I do believe it is uh, still three count here, so it should be a submission and a pinfall. So this should be a good match. Um, oh, Okada takes advantage, puts him in the Boston Crab. Good double arm suplex there. Kick to the back of his leg. Oh, Ric Flair won't go into the corner. Nobody puts Ric Flair in a corner. Only a one count for Flair. Body slam from Okada. Wearing out the back of Ric Flair. Off the ropes. Knife edge chop. Drop the knees. Oh, no suplex and drop kick to the back of the knee of Okada. Off the ropes. Knife edge chop again. Elbow drop. 
Lots of strikes right to Okada. Give up. Still working the back. Body slam. Drop kick to the to the knees. Neck breaker. And back to the back. Another flurry of blows from Ric Flair, though. Drop of the knees again. Good elbow to the face of Okada. Knife edge chop. Into the corner. Couple blows there. Up to the top rope. Elbow drop. Great stalling suplex here from Flair, really showing off his strength. As uh, strong as a video game can be. Kick to the back of the knees of Okada. Chops and chops and chops and chops. Chops like you wouldn't believe. And a 2.9, dear God, a near fall, 10-21. Back to the back of Ric Flair. Big neck breaker. STF from Okada. Huge move from Okada. But Ric Flair reverses, hits him with the chop block, working those knees, getting ready for that figure four. Okada takes over again, into the corner. And chops and chops and chops and chops and chops. He's chopping that meat. And a big suplex, but I think it was blocked by Ric Flair. Okada up first. An exchange of blows, chops and elbows. Ric Flair with the spinning face chop. Oh, and Okada gets the upper hand again, but a drop toe hold from Flair keeps it even. Drop kick to the back of the knee. Huge German suplex from Okada. Oh, a near fall. Into the corner. Really working flare in there. Drop toe hole. And the Rainmaker! One, two. Only a two count. And Flair reverses into a low blow. Anything's legal in the steel cage. Anything's been legal the whole show, actually. Nothing's changed at all. More chops in the corner. Just continuing to beat down Okada. And Okada continues to come back and beat down Flair. And another German suplex there. Wow, oh, another near fall. 1636. Another huge move there from Okada because that's all I can call it. And a reversal and another chop walk. Just continuing to wear down those knees. And uh, honestly, what can you do without your knees? Really think about it. Think about uh, all your skills. Dear God, you couldn't tombstone pile drive someone, could you? No, not without your knees. So if he does effectively take out Okada's knees. He won't be able to tombstone pile driver, but until he has, he still can, and he can still hit beautiful back of the head drop kicks like that. Big body slam. You can't do a body slam when your knees are hurt. You can't do drop kicks like that. You can't get that kind of air. More chops from Flair. Oh, a kick out at two nineteen oh six. Big roll up. Oh, and a near fall at nineteen twenty four. Running move into the corner, but Okada moves. Okada signals for it. It's time. Another German suplex. Oh, but Okada gets away. And he's in it. He's in it. No, he gets out. The figure four. The figure four. The figure four. And he's out. He lives to fight another day and another big tombstone. Okada's ready. He wants it. He wants that clusterfuck championship. He wants to fight Misawa, but the sleeper holds in. Okada wants it. Okada wants to beat the shit out of Flair, and he wants to give him the reign. 
He wants to make that fucking rain. Double arm suplex again from Flair, but Okada's up first. He's got him in the submission again. And that's it. That's it. Okada at 22 22. He goes on to face Mitsuharu Masawa at whatever the fuck that next show is gonna be. Wouldn't you believe it, folks? That has been Clusterfuck Pros Art of War. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Blazin' David Hayes. You are the shit heels. I'll be back. Hope you will be too. Take great care, everybody.